Hey, welcome to this screencast by AsianEfficiency.com. My name is Tan, and in this video, I want to show you how to use LaunchBar. So for people who are watching who have no clue what LaunchBar is, it is basically an application launcher. So when you're on a Mac, there's, there, there are plenty of ways to launch an application. You know, the most common way is probably by browsing the applications folder on your dock, selecting the app that you want, and launch it. Now another way to do this that is a little bit quicker and more efficient is by using Spotlight. So you can go here, type in uh, you know, your application, for example OmniFocus, which is my favorite task manager, press return, and there you go. Um, a little bit faster way to do that is by triggering it through a shortcut. So for, for people who just got a brand new Mac or new to Mac, um, this, this shortcut is command spacebar. So let's say Photoshop, if you press return, you launch Photoshop. Okay, so what is, what is so great about LaunchBar then, if you can just launch apps uh, through Spotlight? Right? Because if you have LaunchBar, you can trigger it by uh, either pressing command spacebar if you set the hotkey for it, which I have in this case. So for me, I have Spotlight set to option spacebar and LaunchBar to command spacebar. And then if I type in pages, same thing happens, right? I can launch pages that way. Now the cool thing about LaunchBar is that it's a little bit smarter than Spotlight when it comes to uh, detecting apps that you want to launch. So for example, instead of typing uh, OmniFocus and then Spotlight, if I type in OF in LaunchBar, will recognize that I want to launch um, OmniFocus because what it can see is if a application name has two words, so to speak, in it. So for example, OmniFocus has Omni and Focus. Uh, if you type in the first letters of the two words, so O and F in this case, uh, you can see that you want to launch OmniFocus. Another example would be uh, BusyCal, my calendar. So that would be BC. Right? Or Photoshop, which would be photo and shop, which is PS. If I type in PS, it launches Photoshop. All I have to do is press return key and it launches Photoshop. So that way you can really uh, be a little bit more efficient when it comes to launching apps. So instead of you know using the mouse, uh, which is a little bit slower, using Spotlight when you have to type in um, you know, photo, uh, I'd rather type in PS and launch Photoshop that way. So it's a little bit quicker that way. Now this might seem like, you know, not worth it. Uh, it really is. Like over time, as you tend to create your own workflow and you tend to launch a lot of different apps, those little shortcuts really add up over time. Now another cool thing about this is that you can kind of train LaunchBar in a way where it'll start to recognize what kind of app you want to launch based on which key you press. So just to explain that concept a little bit more, what, what internally uh, happens within LaunchBar is that it keeps track of which uh, keys you, you press and then which application you tend to launch with them uh, associated with those keys. So for example, if I type in F, I tend to launch Firefox. So the training part of this is that you can uh, tell LaunchBar um, something along the lines of, hey, if I type in F, I want you to launch my text editor phrase. So if you type in F, you can see that phrase is somewhere around here. Um, but my default is Firefox because for some reason, if I type in F, I tend to use Firefox. But let's say whenever I type in F, I want to launch my uh, text editor phrase. So how do I do this? So what you do then is as you launch LaunchBar, you type in F and you use your arrow keys to select the app that you want, which is phrase in this case, and then launch it. Now if you do this enough times, LaunchBar will start to recognize that, oh, when you press F, you want to launch phrase. So if I do this again, I press F, Boom, it starts to recognize that I want to use phrase. Um, in this case, 
since I've used phrase many times, it starts to pop a little bit faster. But let me show it to you in another way. Let me use Flux, right, which is this little app here uh, that dims your screen based on the time outside, which is great. Um, if I type in F again, this phrase again, I type in go to Flux. I bet you if I type in F now, Flux is my default. As you can see, it is. So you can do the same thing for other apps. Uh, for example, if I type in P, I tend to launch pages. Now I can do the same thing. If I constantly go to Pomodoro, then over time, whenever I type in P, it will start to uh, select Pomodoro first. So you, you don't necessarily have to train LaunchBar this way. If you just tend to use it naturally, um, LaunchBar will just pick it up automatically, which is really great. And over time, as you have these little shortcuts and ways of launching apps that are a little bit more efficient than using Spotlight, you'll start to recognize the real power of LaunchBar. And this is just one of the very basic features.